Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexis Christophorus. Welcome back to Yahoo Finance. Want to get the latest now on the COVID-19 numbers with Anjali Kemlani. Uh, Anjali, I know that President Trump and Vice President Pence have said that the U.S. outbreak uh, may be starting to stabilize, yet they're still warning that we could see uh, horrific numbers in terms of death toll this week or next. What's the latest? That's right, Alexis. Yeah. Um, so right now, as it stands, the world case count is actually 1.2 million, and we seem to be raising at a clip of 100,000 every couple of days. So I'm suspecting that will increase to 1.3 by the end of the day. Um, we know that the total deaths are more than 70,000. Meanwhile, in the U.S., more than 300,000 cases, half of which are in New York still, um, and more than 9,000 9, deaths have been reported. As you mentioned, yes, uh, we do see some... Uh, the quote has been light at the end of the tunnel um, in terms of what's going on on a national level. We know that Washington and California have done a really good job. In fact, Washington state did, in fact, return several uh, uh, ventilators back to the national stockpile, indicating that it does feel like it's over um, its outbreak right now. Meanwhile, New York and New Jersey ramping up for really the worst. We're going to see a lot more in terms of uh, surging uh, throughout the country in some of the key metro areas that they've been discussing at the press briefings, including uh, Illinois, as well as Florida and uh, Louisiana. So um, we're waiting to see just how bad it gets, uh, but that's the latest right now. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.